My name is Pastor Chekev. Jesus is coming again. This is the announcement that I have brought to you. Jesus is coming again. Before he went back to heaven, he actually had a discussion with the disciples and he said some powerful statements that I want us to have a quick look at together. Matthew chapter 24, verse 11, verse 24, and verse 25. And many prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. For they shall arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I've told you these things before. We serve a faithful God. Before things happen, he tells us about them. Isn't it the Bible says, the Lord will do anything without notifying his servants, the prophets. So before he does anything, the Lord announces it to us. Now, right here, when we talk about the second coming, he said before the second coming happens, there will be many false prophets and they are going to deceive many. Oh, I want to praise the Lord. Not all, but many. They could be in a large number, but it's not all. There's always a remnant who are not going to be deceived. And then he says, for they shall arise false Christs. Oh, understand. False prophets, false Christs. And all these people shall come and do great wonders. Do you know that? If you go somewhere and you find somebody trying to prove that is a prophet, that's a problem. You don't have to prove yourself. If you go somewhere and someone is trying to prove that I am a servant of the Lord, you don't have to do that. If a person is trying to prove that I am the Christ by doing all sorts of things, it's not like that. The Jesus who is coming back, he doesn't have to prove himself. The Bible says, if you hear them, Lord, he is there. Lord, he is there. Don't go there. Because the one that we, we are coming for, he does not go anywhere. He is an all in all. He is full on himself. He doesn't need to prove anything to anyone. Because he spoke the worlds into existence, the mountains and the seas into existence. He does not need to prove to anyone. And when he talks about wonders, they want to do all sorts of things to try and prove. The Jesus that we are waiting for does not need all that. He has proved it by hanging on the cross. That was good enough so that his blood would wash away your sins. And then he says, behold, I've told you these things before. I am here to shout a warning. We have been told there are false prophets, false Christs. False prophets are these prophets who, runs, who are running around forming churches and ministries. A prophet is sent from God with a special message. He has no time to make money. He has time to meet the people. He has no time to do things of this world. He has time to carry the message. The message that is carried by the prophet is urgent. Christ is coming again. His message is simple, straightforward. False prophets out. False Christ out. Wait for him who created the heavens on the earth. Wait for him who owns this world. Wait for him who shed his blood. Behold him and him alone on the cross. For he is the only one who was crucified. May God help you.